Fisheries biologists spend a lot of time in the fall surveying district lakes and the Missouri River system in North Dakota looking for natural fish reproduction, spring fish stocking success, and forage conditions. Basically we're looking at what the year, how the year went for reproduction of fish, also everything from sport fish down to forage species. So it gives us a snapshot of how well things were for the fish reproduction that year. On this day, we tagged along with Dave Frieda and his fisheries crew on Lake Sakakawea. We had very high abundance of white bass, gold eye, crappie, uh, good numbers of spot tails. A lot of these, what we call alternative forage aside from our smelt, but those, those fish did really well. Um, another highlight is we've seen the strongest sauger reproduction we've ever documented in the last 50 some years of these surveys. And our walleye are looking pretty good too. Frida says the annual hydroacoustic survey on Lake Sakakawea conducted in August indicated a good abundance of smelt in the reservoir. Lake Sakakawea still is doing very well with both sport fish and forage conditions. And you know, 2022 was an exceptional fishing year on Sakakawea again. To catch small fish for the reproduction survey, you need small mesh, trap, and gill nets. It targets just small fish. We, we don't catch much for adult fish in these nets this time of year. So also the nets that we use during the summer to catch adult fish will not sample these fish this time of year. Fish reproduction surveys are important for managing Lake Sakakawea and other water bodies in North Dakota. It is, because it gives us an idea of what we're gonna have in three years down the road or four years down the road when those fish start recruiting to a size that anglers are willing to harvest when they get to that 14 to 16, 18 inch range. In spring, biologists will stock fish into lakes to help boost the populations if necessary. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.